Now, Communications and Digitalization Minister Ursula Osweko-Fole is urging ICT for development partners to assist Ghana's health system digitalized to meet the modern standards of healthcare delivery. Ursula Osu, in an address on the ICT for Development Conference, touted Ghana's achievement in health and other sectors through digitalization and called for more support from international partners to provide smart and affordable health care for the average Ghana, Ghanaian. The following report has more. Delivering the keynote address at the ICT for D conference, Sector Minister Ursula Owusu said it is government's vision to incorporate artificial intelligence into Ghana's health system to provide virtual diagnosis to non-emergency health cases and appeals to development partners to come on board and help realize this vision. Developing world can benefit from simple IT tools like that that can train our young medical professionals remotely and enable them to also assist the various at, at need populations where they are. And I believe that through technology, we can all come together. I'm using this because I'm appealing indirectly to CRS to think about what they can do to help the healthcare ecosystem in our country and in many of your other jurisdictions through utilizing some of these tools, working in collaboration with our medical authorities to see how we can bring remote learning to a lot more people who don't have access to the skilled personnel that would need to provide in-person learning to them. Country representative of Catholic Relief Services, Daniel Mumuni, outlined some of the outfit's digital infrastructure interventions that have been implemented to address some of Ghana's challenges in health and digital infrastructure development. As CRS, we try to integrate uh, information technology in how we do things, whether it's about data collection, how we collect data, and how we also innovate through our programs. Uh, so here in Ghana, we've worked very closely with the Ministry of Health, for example, to strengthen the referral system, uh, you know, working closely with the National Ambulance Services uh, to be able to deliver uh, health care to uh, the last mile, particularly uh, pregnant women and children in remote uh, communities. And through uh, this project, we've integrated some technology uh, through what we call the Emergency Dispatch Center, where right now a woman... Uh, you know, in a remote community can call uh, these dispatch centers, uh, which are digitally managed. So they are all fitted with trackers, uh, you know, with a, with a screen where they can uh, see where they are and uh, be dispatched. Uh, so that's one of the uh, innovations we are working with uh, with the government on. Director of ICTD for D at the Catholic Relief Services, Nora Lindstrom highlighted the role of digitalization in addressing pressing challenges and unlocking new opportunities in various sectors in Ghana. The main purpose of the conference is really to enable knowledge exchange for people coming from, from different areas, whether they work in health or they work in education, agriculture, and they're using technology. And we really believe that bringing all of these people together to share what they're doing, we can learn across these different sectors. Um, so the main purpose is this knowledge exchange, right? Um, having said that, we've got three themes um, for the conference this year. The first one is digital to tackle wicked problems. So this is the theme where we're really looking at how digital solution and digital transformation can help us address some of the global challenges that we face in the world, whether they be in, in health, in agriculture, in education, employment, climate change, you name it. The 12th ICT for D conference, which is being hosted in Ghana for the second time, is the largest in person conference on ICT for development in the world. This year's event in Accra had over 700 participants from different parts of the world.